We are in Arcade Club, which is Britain's largest retro arcade. And the great thing about it is it's almost like the best kept secret of Manchester. There's so much here to see. Let's have a quick look about. So as you can see, here you've got WWF WrestleFest. And the great thing is with this and any game you want to play, it's free. You pay the entry to get into Arcade Club. You can play them again and again and again. You're not having to put your own money in. You're not having to put quarters in. You just play the games. But for now, I'm going to keep moving because I can't figure out how to make the game work. Now, it wouldn't be an arcade without a dance machine. And obviously, I'm a bit of a dancer. It's too slow a song. I didn't mean to pick this song. This one is one that I enjoy. Not because I'm good at it. I don't think I've ever been good at Paperboy. And I know some people are but I refuse to believe they're actually human because Paperboy is such an infuriating game, especially when you, I was like five years old trying to play it on the various consoles that it's appeared on. Let's see if I can do all right. I'm gonna die straight away. Ah, slow down, ah! As I said, I'm not good at Paperboy. And if you're a gamer that's always preferred it a bit calmer, a bit quieter, you know, pinball in general. Um, this is the pinball room, there's a lot on. As you can see, you've got classics like Metallica, stuff like the X-Files and Doctor Who. There's literally so much to see, and much like everything else, it's all free play. One of the interesting things about seeing these arcade machines when you're no longer a kid is you realise that some of them are actually much smaller than you might remember. Take for example this Star Wars Atari machine. Now I didn't play it as a kid, but it's um, not the easiest for someone who is six foot one to get into. It's also surprisingly uncomfortable. I can't figure out how to get out. So, what we haven't. We're at 17 below, which is, as you can tell, an establishment of a bar that serves various drinks, some of them gamer-themed cocktails. On top of that, you've got free-to-play arcade machines if you are a customer whilst you're here, as well as pool tables and lots of posters and neon signs tying into that gaming geekery. Let's take a look around. On your mark, get set. Trick is button bashing. Fuck! Smashed ya! Dab! That's how you jump. It wouldn't be a trip to Manchester if you didn't come and visit Fab Cafe. It is part of geek royalty almost here in Manchester. Been about since the 90s and it's chock full of really cool references to film, TV and even video games. Let's go take a look around. I 
of my favourite displays that they have here is this. It's full of retro consoles that range from the Super Nintendo Entertainment System through to things like this Tron machine or a Commodore. And there's just, it's a lot of retro stuff and it's just really cool to actually get to see in person and be quite close to it. It's harder to come by nowadays than it used to be. The Xenomorph is obviously the iconic antagonist from the Alien franchise, but it's important to remember that the Alien franchise that has terrified kids, teenagers and adults for decades is more than just its films. There's also been some fantastic video games, comic books and loads more, which is why we salute you Xenomorph. We're here at NQ64, which is in Manchester's very cool Northern Quarter. Now, maybe I'm not quite cool enough to be here, even though I did just do a coin flip and I am obviously holding this guitar in a very hip fashion. It's a really interesting bar, lovely sort of designs on the walls and stuff like that. And there's a lot of interesting games as well as some really tasty drinks. It does also incorporate quarters, but they're all custom made and actually quite a cute collector's item. Let's play some Guitar Hero. I'm going to teach the computer a lesson in OutRun 2. Huh? Why would you indicate into my lane, you idiot? So it may shock you, but yet again, another game that I'm not very good at. All the consoles are free to play in NQ64 and there's a nice selection as well to check out with various games to play. You've got your Super Nintendos, you've got your N64s with their awkwardly shaped controllers, you've got your Mega Drives or Genesis if you're American. If you can't get onto any of the arcade machines or if you just don't have enough money to buy the tokens, you can at least come down, enjoy some drinks and play some good games. I'm going to play Mario Kart. And obviously I'm gonna pick Luigi, cause Luigi number one! The truth is Manchester's just a treasure trove of really awesome things for gamers to do. So if you do come down, make sure to check out everything we've shown in this travel guide, whilst also letting us know what you think we should be going to next time. But unfortunately, that's the end of the show. Goodbye. <laughs>